The iPad Mini 7 has been eagerly awaited for over a year, with numerous leaks fueling the anticipation. As stock for the 6th Gen model starts running low, many expected its unveiling at Apple's September Glow Time event alongside the iPhone 16. However, the event came and went without any mention of the tablet. Now, fresh rumors suggest that the iPad Mini 7 could make its debut by the end of October 2024. Here's everything you need to know. I'm a big fan of the iPad Mini 6 design. The sleek, minimalist build feels premium, and the magnetic edge for the Apple Pencil transforms it into a fantastic little digital notebook, in addition to everything else it offers. While some might be disappointed that Apple is sticking with this iPad Air Mini look, I'm more than happy with it. The dimensions are likely to stay close to the current models, and unless there's a slightly larger battery, the weight should still be around 0.65 pounds. There's no buzz about a display upgrade for the iPad Mini 7, and reports confirm it will likely keep the same 8.3-inch liquid retina display with a 2,266 by 1,488 resolution. While I'd love to see a 120Hz refresh rate, Apple's commitment to 60Hz on non-pro models has been a long-standing trend. However, one promising update addresses the most glaring issue of the iPad Mini 6, jelly scrolling. On the current Mini, scrolling can cause a noticeable wobble as one side of the screen lags behind. The 7th Gen version is expected to resolve this with a faster display controller that syncs everything more smoothly. As for OLED enthusiasts, you'll need to keep waiting. Apple's impressive tandem OLED panel just debuted in the M4 iPad Pro, but it seems they're taking their time bringing it to other models. Rumors suggest we won't see OLED in the iPad Mini until 2026. The first part of this has been circulating in rumors for a while. Upgrading from 4GB to 8GB of RAM would significantly enhance multitasking on the iPad Mini, an area where the current model starts to struggle under heavier loads. The second part is something I'm really hoping for. Apple has shown a willingness to boost base storage across its recent devices like the M2 iPad Air. With the growing demand for space due to larger apps, films, TV shows, and other content, 128GB should be the new starting point. Now, let's focus on the processor. The 6th Gen iPad Mini is powered by the A15 chip, and analyst Ming-Chi Kuo previously mentioned that the main selling point of the iPad Mini 7 would be its upgraded chipset. That's why it's a bit surprising to see rumors suggesting it might feature the A16. I'm a bit skeptical of this report. Why? Because Apple is heavily invested in AI, and using the A16 chip would limit the iPad Mini's ability to leverage AI features, which seems counterintuitive given how important AI is becoming for Apple. If I had to guess, I'd bet on the A17 chip making its way into the iPad Mini 7. Essentially, this would be a rebranded version of the A17 Pro found in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it comes with neural engine capabilities that are key for AI functionality. If we go by what the tipsters are saying, this seems pretty straightforward. The 6th Gen iPad Mini debuted at $499, a $100 bump from its predecessor, but we expect the iPad Mini 7 to stick to that same price point. Now, it's just a waiting game. While we didn't see the new iPad Mini revealed at the iPhone event, an October Apple event focused on MacBooks seems more likely. Either way, I'd advise holding off on buying the current Mini, as I'm confident the new version is just around the corner. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this on your feed.